Hi everybody, so this is the second part of uh, my video on uh, my vacuum pump made with a fridge compressor which is here. So the setup is now almost finished, in fact totally finished. Um, I have added to the intake which is here this pipe with uh, a derivation there to go here on, uh, on my system. So this is a pressure sensor which is here. This tap is uh, just there to uh, allow to empty the vacuum into the bag. The bag uh, should be here at the very end of this pipe. So for the moment I have another solution which is uh, working also very well. It's a kind of uh, a vac vacuum bag <laughs> made with a bottle of, of beer. Um, so to run it, you only need to power the fridge, which is already done, and to add um, an USB cord powered by uh, a phone, uh, a phone charger, or what you want, to this USB plug. The system will automatically start. It should. So here it is, and. Uh, the vacuum is done and it's stop. You can monitor everything using an application that I have uh, written, which is available for download. So here you can see that uh, I have a low threshold of 40 uh, kilopascal and a high threshold of 50 kilopascal. And the pump is oscillating between 40 and 50. I have created a very light uh, leak on the intake using this tap here. And so the pressure is decreasing slowly. And when we reach the 40 value, then the pump is starting and stops at 50. You can change this value. Let's say that we want to increase to 60. Okay, so next it will start, pressure will climb and go to 60 and then stop again. So you have a very flexible uh, system which is uh, almost totally secure. I say almost because I have added some kind of security into, uh, into the system. Let's imagine that the fridge is uh, is uh, stalling that is uh, it means that uh, the compressor doesn't start and this can be done by unplugging the power here so so it's here it, it, it is starting again so starting up to 60 and then the pressure will decrease the pump is idle that is waiting for the pressure to decrease and i will disconnect the fridge here. So here it is. The pressure is uh, is dropping and when we will reach the 40 value the, uh, the firmware will start the, the compressor but as there is no longer voltage on it it will not run simulating that there is a failure and now you can see that the pump is uh, into alarm that is that everything is uh, is safe power is no longer applied on the on the fridge the pressure of course due to the leak is decreasing but if i put again the power to clear the alarm So the fridge is still stopped. I can start the system and the pressure will climb up to 60 and then stop again. And a new cycle will, uh, will start again. So you have a system which is fully automatic 
Uh, you can set up the lower and the higher thresholds for the vacuum. Uh, I have removed the, into the fridge. I have removed the, the thermistor relay, which was not very reliable because of the overheating here. And so I have the system with the two coils. You can see here the, the second LED is the running coil and the first one is the start coil. So I have my own logic here to apply a very short impulsion which is lasting uh, 0.5 seconds to the start coil. You will see it when uh, the cycle will start again. Uh, that is uh, within uh, let's say five seconds look at carefully the second led the, the front one so it's only starting during half a second and then the running coil is uh, is powered so a fully automatic system you can uh, uh, have a look to the description of this video and see the link for the Hackadays project where you will find much more explanation on this uh, system that, than I have given right now. Um, everything is open source, open hardware, so don't hesitate to make one. It is a very fine application for a fridge compressor. Stay tuned. Goodbye.